Hi everyone, I'm Lisa D'Amico, curator of Shine the Light Virtual Art Exhibit, and I am here with the super talented Freda Turin. <laughs> Freda, it is so nice to meet you in, in, well, in virtual person, and to talk to you about your piece. Um, as above, so below, I was struck by it in many ways, and we'll talk about that, um, but I want everyone to know that I gave it the Curator's Choice Award. And- For which I thank you oh, forever. <laughs> And you and I, prior to this exhibit, we don't know each other. It's your piece kind of encompassed everything that I was thinking of with this show. It, it, you had this beautiful, subtle brilliance to your interpretation of light that just struck me. And what I really love about your piece is anybody who sees it creates their own narrative, their own definition to this show and that's really for me the heart of it because it's shine the light can be taken in so many different ways and that's what your piece epitomizes that multi-definitional kind of theme so thank you so much thank you and i love exactly how i feel good tell everybody about the location the inspiration get us started well, I'm a big Irish music fan. And Lunasa, which is a modern Irish trad group, uh, is my favorite. And I've been following them. In fact, I'm going to Ireland on Thursday uh, to do another tour based around their front man, Kevin Crawford. But I have never seen Lunasa live. And I traveled with a group of 20 people about three years ago on a tour that was based around Irish music. And um, what can I say? I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled when a friend I travel with, my friend Linda Garvin, who lives in Maine, called me and said, Lunasa is playing two concerts in Maine, you're coming. And I said, oh, okay, I guess I am. And I got up there, it was December 17th, December 18th. And it was a beautiful, beautiful evening. And the concert was incredible. And I was dancing around Linda's front yard after the show. And I looked up and I saw that the sky had changed. It was the night of the full wolf moon. Um, and I said, oh, gosh, it's going to snow. And I took out my phone. I don't have a camera anymore. I use my phone. And I pointed up and I shot and I looked and I saw there was a heart corona around the moon. And I get all <laughs> scary thinking about it. Um, it reflected what I was feeling. Um, I'm also a light worker, I do Reiki. Um, I've been studying with several people and it, it's important to me. Light is so important to people. Light influences how we think, how we feel. You know, the expression, I see red, I'm feeling blue, I'm green with envy. Um, changing the light can affect your mood and how you perceive the world outside and how you perceive what's inside you. Okay, somehow I, I love your piece even more now. Thank you. There, there's a soulful spiritual element to it and I can't recommend to, enough to everyone listening to see your piece because it, you. it does, it just, it takes you to a place that's really exceptional and your work is exceptional. And um, I hope people will of course see the exhibit, but I also hope they follow you. And now that you're going on this trip, I can only imagine the photos you're going to take. I, when I went in 2019, I had gotten my first iPhone. Um, yeah, I was a bit of a Luddite. Uh, and I always said, gee, I wish I had a camera with me. And someone said to me, you know, you do. It's in the phone. And I started playing around with it. 
the beauty of going to Ireland is that despite what Johnny Cash said, it's more than 40 shades of green. It's 40,000 shades of green. And there are sunrises and sunsets like no other place in the world. You look out over the ocean and you see almost to Boston on a clear day. And the colors are, are just astounding. It's, it's a feast for the soul as well as for the eyes. Freda, thank you so much. Thank for you, Lisa. speaking with me and sharing your experience. And your work is, is a feast for the eyes. So you keep taking photos and letting us in. And you've got a fan in me. And I know that you've got new fans because of this exhibit and because of your work. Well, thank you. Thank you so um, much. You, thank you for listing me. My Instagram is at Freda Turin. And um, that's where I post most of my work. And I'll put the link when I post this on Thank social media. Thank you so very much for the opportunity. This has been great. Good.